Identical twins have fascinated us for thousands of years. It's amazing to see two people exactly alike, same genes and all. But one thing that interests me more than the striking similarities, of course, are differences. Let's take a look at identical twins here right now. Yeah. Never had a health issue in my life. Well, I've had four strokes. But wait, these ladies emerge from the same cycle, split into two separate cells. So why shouldn't they be alike in every way? Why should Ella grow to be taller or Emma to have a higher IQ? Well, epigenetics is the answer. When scientists talk about epigenetics, we mean all the time to our genetic code just isn't enough to explain the observable differences. Epigenetics doesn't change the DNA itself. Just how it spreads some sort of called chemical tags, which affect how genes are turned on or off. If epigenetic interferences occur when DNA or the protein is wrapped around, it gets labeled with these chemical tags. Some tags cause the DNA to come more tightly, therefore silencing it, while others cause its loosening, therefore aiding its transcription. But why do we develop these chemical tags in the first place? Environmental stimuli ranging from the compounds in our food to the thousands of radiation sources we are exposed to every day changes the way our genes are expressed. This was what happened in the case of Ella and Emma. They both had essentially the same genome, just different epigenomes, due to slight or drastic differences in the environment. In essence, this means that we aren't at the mercy of our genes. Our everyday choices determine whether or not we lead healthy lives. Make the right choice today.